man is being discriminated against because the truth is hidden from him. And I learned that through Watergate. That the truth is never brought out to the American people. The young students of our universities are badly deprived of what they should really know about American Indians and many other things. I have been a teacher of black history for many years, 30 or more years. But now that I am more aware of, of the role that Jews played, it, it strikes me as very interesting that I could have taught African history and black history generally, African American history, Caribbean history for so long without having a clearer sense of the involvement of Jews in, in, in that nefarious trade. And it seems to me that as I look back on this reality, it seems to me that somewhere along the line there must have been a perhaps a deliberate tendency on the part of somebody, I'm not sure who, maybe book publishers, maybe historians themselves, but it seems as though there was a, a tendency over the years to downplay, to deliberately downplay and to obscure, to camouflage the role of... A work towards curing cancer by folding protein in a virtual environment. Turns out that gamers are really good at folding proteins in novel ways that could be used to, to create medicines for things like Alzheimer's and cancer. They're better than most scientists who have training in it, and they're better than supercomputers who um, have algorithms to fold proteins. In fact, they published a paper in Nature Journal um, this year listing 57,000 gamers as co-authors um, for this paper on curing cancer. Um, is to get you stuck in the idea that a piece of paper gives you something. A piece of paper doesn't give you anything. It gives you a piece of paper. Go to college to learn a bunch of stuff that you're going to have to unlearn anyway because they're teaching you a pack of lies. And if you think outside the box and don't go running toward a box to be put into a box to get a piece of paper from the box, you need to wake up there, look out there in the real world. There are tons and tons of people with college educations. They don't have a job, They're not making any money. I can't count how many women I've dated that have had college educations aren't making any money or weren't even in the field that they went and studied for. So it's a gamble going and investing $25,000 to $100,000 or more over the next four years to learn a bunch of lies, propaganda, disinformation, taking a gamble with that kind of money. I don't think so. You can keep it college.